So we, heard, uh, we read a story some uh, time ago on a newspaper. It was a story about a chef who um, was accused by fellow chefs in his city, Boston, to have um, misappropriated knowledge from all of them, to have stolen ideas from them. This chef would have visited, was visiting all the restaurants um, in the city and taking notes about the food that he was eating. He would uh, basically ask a lot of questions about every bite that he was served and taking notes. And he was not uh, saying that he was a chef. He was actually pretending to be an out-of-work musician. After a while, he opened his restaurant and his restaurant became, became very popular in, in, uh, in Boston. And so people started to spread rumors about the fact that the, this person had been stealing ideas from others. And we observed some chefs really getting furious about this and saying, this is not how you should behave, this is not the rules that we follow in the industry. Whereas there were others who really didn't seem to care. We asked them, can we talk about this story? And they told us, we don't even want to talk about this. So we started to ask to ourselves, why do we observe these differences in people's behavior? Why do we observe people uh, willing to sanction sometime and not really willing to, um, to be sanctioning some others? So what we decided to do, first of all, was that we went on the field and uh, studied uh, this issue, the issue of sanctioning and the propensity to sanction directly with chefs. So we went, in the, the, we went to talk to people uh, working in the gourmet cuisine industry, uh, collected the interviews, field observation, and then we also ran an experiment, a scenario-based experiment with chefs in the Michelin Guide in Italy. And what the results uh, of our study show is that um, we basically see both behavior at play and they interact in a very peculiar way. So under some circumstances, people really feel that they need to sanction because that's the right thing to do. They have this emotional reaction to injustice. And this is, for instance, when very severe violations are committed. There are other circumstances under which you don't see that, and you actually see people really strategizing about whether or not they should sanction someone for misbehaving. So this happens, for instance, if the person who misbehaved is a competitor, or is someone who has a very high reputation in the industry. You really think about what you're going to do before you actually do it. And then we found that the two logics interact, meaning that in some circumstances, people recognize that they will have the emotional reaction to sanctioning. And anticipating that, they prefer to avoid uh, talking to the person completely. They completely um, avoid social exchange with that particular counterpart so that they will not have to sanction afterwards because they know they will feel the obligation to do so. So imagine you say something, you share an idea with a colleague and then in a, during a meeting this colleague goes and basically appropriates this idea if it's, as if it were his own. Uh, and so you can learn something on how to react to these particular circumstances from our paper because we clearly show that, first of all, you should probably let the steam off and then think about rationally what happened and try to um, understand whether, for instance, others are going to believe to you in what you're saying and um, do all this kind of reasoning, engage in this type of reasoning and strategizing before actually deciding to go and tell everyone about what happened. At a more micro level, think about um, you are a manager and you're managing a team of people and you want these people to collaborate with each other. So knowing that under some circumstances, uh, people will be uh, less likely to sanction and so probably cooperation will fall apart because norms are not holding place by sanction may actually help you. Because if you foresee those situations, you can avoid them and maybe act upon them. Uh, and so it may actually be an interesting um, um, finding also for people who are in charge of teams and want to achieve collaboration within these teams. Mm -hmm.